Reviewing this 23 Camaro ZL1. The color here is Riverside Blue Metallic. Interior is black uh, suede leather with red accents. Um, of course, it's equipped with the LT4 Supercharged 6.2. Uh, variable valve timing and direct injection. That puts it at about 650 horsepower. Same with the torque, rated at 650 also. This car, they claim, can do zero to 60 in about 3.5 seconds quarter mile is supposed to be around 11.5 uh, which is faster than the Challenger Hellcat all right so this one the ZL1 is equipped with a six-speed manual transmission uh, so the six speeds come with a 373 gear ratio in the rear end as opposed to the automatics the automatic ZL1s have a 285 um, so the manual transmissions they're a lot more snappy they accelerate better so some features of the ZL1, um, it comes with this nice suede interior, red stitching. Um, same with the seats, it's got suede seats, leather inserts, red stitching on the bolsters. Uh, Recaros, I believe Recaros are standard on the ZL1. Um, so being a Recaro, you know, it's a sporty seat, these bolsters stick out, help you stay in the seat. And for safety, it's got a side airbag built into the seats. And they are heated and cooled seats as well. So being a Recaro, that's kind of unusual. Right here we've got settings for seat coolers right here, seat heaters right here. It's also got the dual climate control for driver and passenger left and right. So for entertainment, we've got this eight inch touchscreen display. And uh, it is equipped with Apple CarPlay, has Android Auto, has a Wi-Fi hotspot. It has satellite radio. You can adjust ambient lighting. Of course, it has navigation. Uh, so for climate, it's got the manual controls like I showed you. And then you can also come in here and adjust your settings here uh, with the touchscreen. Right, to the audio, uh, it's also equipped with a Bose surround speaker system. All right, so I'm gonna be messing with the ambient lighting settings. There's a whole bunch of options to choose from. Let's start off with the purple that it's set to now. Um, I don't know, let's just try uh, red and see what red looks like. It's a slow switch over. Let's see, switch to yellow. We'll gradually switch over. Blue. This one's a two-tone, green and red. What's that one? Oh, it's green on top, red on the bottom, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna go into settings and show you some more adjustability this car has. When you hit settings, you can click uh, vehicle and then driving mode. And then from here, you can adjust your engine sound. It's got adjustable exhaust, um, adjustable steering, tour, sport, track. It's electronic steering, so you, that's what the adjustability is. It's the feedback of the wheel. Um, and then suspension, it's got adjustable suspension as well. Tour, sport, track. Um, and it has a magnetic suspension, which makes them adjustable on the fly. We've got a performance menu in the gauge cluster that measures G-force. We've got two different settings for that. We have a zero to 60 timer, a lap timer. We have oil temperature, oil pressure, battery voltage, trans fluid temperature, tire temp, and back to G-force. Uh, we've got some different um, drive modes to toggle through. We have Sports, track, we have tour, we have snow and ice, and this should be dealing with the stability track system and traction control. Uh, above this toggle, we also have the traction control um, disable switch, and if you hit it again, if you hit it twice quickly, it goes into comp competitive mode. I guess it completely disables the system. ZL1 Camaro, it is convertible. Right now I'm gonna try out the operation of it and see how it works. So I'm gonna hit the button right now.
trouble like how quickly the top can go up in case it starts raining or the weather gets sideways. Uh, so right now we're gonna time it, you know, like let's act like it's raining and I'm trying to get the top up, let's see. So the LT4 features a next generation Eaton 1.9 liter supercharger. And for cooling, it uses a dual brick air to liquid unicooler that lays flat here behind this big open grill. So the cylinder heads are made from a Rotocast A35626 cast. It's stronger and they handle heat better than your traditional cylinder head. And the heads also feature titanium valves for uh, lightweight and stronger, more reliable valves. All right, so the connecting rods are made out of forged powder steel. The pistons are in forged aluminum to uh, keep weight down and to also keep the rotating mass down. They decided to use an aluminum uh, balancer on this motor instead of a traditional steel. Uh, the, I'm talking about the harmonic balancer. That, that further keeps the weight down and just keeps the efficiency up. So the LT4 also utilizes stainless steel exhaust manifolds. Usually they're like a cast iron, but the stainless steel helps dissipate heat better. Um, this motor also has dual cam phasing, so it helps like increase mid low range torque with the adjustable time uh, camshaft timing. And with the direct injection and the cam timing and the efficiency of the motor, it's able to run a 10 to 1 compression, which, which is actually really high for a uh, boosted application. But the way this engine's set up, it can handle that reliably. So the 650 horsepower LT4 in the Camaro gets about 14 miles per gallon in the city and about 20 on the highway. The automatic variation of this is one up per, um, it's 1521 with an average of about 16 miles per gallon combined. All right, so for the tires, uh, we're looking at 285, 30, 20 in the front, um, Eagle F1s. The brake setup is a six piston Brembo caliper with a 15.6 inch rotor. It's a two piece rotor. You know, that's more in your race cars. They stay cooler and they're better performing in track conditions. Let's go back to the, to the rear of the car and see what we're looking at back there. So again, with the Eagle F1s, the back is gonna be a 305 30, 20, and we're looking at a four piston brake caliper with a uh, about 14 and a half inch brake rotor and just a traditional one piece rotor back here. So the ZL1 has a more open grill area. It's got cooling ducts here for maybe a trans cooler. Uh, it's got an opening for your intercooler. Intercooler is actually down here. Z01 has this nice lip, makes it look real aggressive. Um, we've got a carbon fiber hood scoop up here. And it is functional. It does actually retract uh, hot air from the engine bay and helps it ventilate out. The ZL1 also has this factory spoiler here, color match to the car.